it's you string jay and welcome back to my channel where i usually talk about all things thrifty frugal and money saving i suppose i am doing that today but i'm just giving you a catch up as well if you've seen my previous couple of videos i have mentioned that my dad has been in hospital and he's still in hospital we are awaiting a transfer to a smaller hospital that can do a lot more physical therapy with him but each time there seems to be an obstacle first of all they discovered he had a an infection so that he had to stay and have some antibiotics so then he was ready to go but they did a blood test just to make sure that he didn't have anything else and that was he was fine to go the blood test results didn't come back in time so he had to stay there all weekend uh, yesterday he was all ready to go there was no bed available today i'm hoping there will be a bed available but who knows you have to wait for somebody to get better don't you so um yeah i'm going to go in and see him again today i've been spending a few hours pretty much every day apart from the weekend when all of my relatives went in who worked during the week but then all came to see me so i was still kind of on duty so i haven't really got a lot done really but i thought i would just do a little video i was coming back from the hospital last night i took my mum home she came along and so i had to drive her home and on the way back i just I was really tired i wasn't up to doing a full shop i passed waitrose i wouldn't normally shop in waitrose but i thought i just need to get a few bits so let's go in there i could go out of my way somewhere else but that would be wasting petrol and my time and i am really tired so popped into waitrose it was as I say it was about seven o'clock i think when i got there so they had some yellow stickers out so i thought well at least i can get yellow sticker prices i don't know if you can hear in the background it's 9.30 in the morning, but I'm sitting here with the lamps on because it's got very, very dark. I'm just looking at the sky. It's pouring down with rain and I can hear thunder in the background now. So we've had a, a run of really lovely weather and it's built up and it's got a bit humid and now the weather is breaking. Anyway, back to my point. Yes, went into Waitrose. I thought I spend as little as possible. It's very expensive in Waitrose. I wouldn't normally go in at all. So I'll show you what I managed to get for my money. I was looking at doing getting some things that I could take to the hospital to eat while I'm there. They have a Marks and Spencers downstairs and it's really nice. It's really, really nice to be able to go there and get some bits for lunch or whatever. But you know, it adds up when you're going every day. I've got the cost of the parking. Can't really save on that. I could have bought a week ticket, but I didn't know dad was gonna be there for a week. So um, I'm having to pay daily. So I can't save on the car parking but I can save on food and drink when I get there. They have a Costa there. I've got coffee there a few times. I do take my own beaker, this one. It's really good because it keeps it hot for a long time. My daughter bought this for Justin for his birthday, but I've been stealing it. But it keeps it hot really for a long time. Um, and you get 30p off if you go to Costa. But then I thought, well, actually it keeps it hot for really a long time. I'll make one, take it with me. And it's a really big coffee and it stays, it's still hot couple of hours after I've arrived. So I did that, done that last couple of days. I should do that again today. And I will take one of the salads that you'll see that I buy in my Waitrose haul. So see what you think. I spent about 40 quid. See what you think of the value that I got for 40 pounds. So this is my, the Waitrose haul. It's literally one bag full, one bag full of shopping, which has cost 40 pounds and 59 pence. So what did I get and did I get any bargains? Let's have a look. Most of these things are priced. Some of them I'll have to look up. So I got, I got a lot of yellow stickers. I always happened to be in there at the right time. And this loaf was reduced a little bit from 155 to 129. It's a multi-grain farmhouse loaf in the freezer. And then I got for me, because I generally eat gluten-free, so I always try and find gluten-free goodies where I can. And I got two of these. I haven't tried these. I hope they're nice, because they're not all brilliant. Beef-free tiger rolls. Reduced from £3.20, which is crazy, isn't it, to 99 pence. So they'll go in the freezer. I needed fruit, and I managed to find all of the fruit reduced. So bearing in mind, you know, Waitrose is expensive to start with, but we bring them down to a normal sort of price. These should have been £3 each, so £3 for four peaches. And often you get them and they're not ripe at all. These are still very firm. 
and um, so I got them reduced to one ninety five from three pounds. Those. And then I also got in the way of fruit some grapes, uh, black, uh, black and green grape selection, reduced from two pound sixty to one twenty five. Sorry about this doggy noise in the background. I got this for the freezer. I'm at hospital at the moment quite a lot. I thought this would be useful. That was reduced from three fifty, which I wouldn't have paid to one pound nineteen. And I got these better naked made without artificial additives and allergens pork sausages there are only six but they were 185 so it should have been three pounds 70 to begin with so again they're for the freezer this is for dinner tonight i've just come back from the hospital very late and i picked this up for now and then i was hoping to find a curry sauce to go with it i couldn't find a curry sauce so I thought, well, actually, it's only mushroom rice. It can go with anything. So I actually picked up this. It's me and Easy here tonight. I think this will feed us both. Uh, just a can of Ratatouille Nissoise, which cost me, it cost £1.20, £1.20 for that. So we're going to have that in a minute <laughs> for dinner. I've got these for tomorrow's lunch. 75p, it's just a, like a pasta salad so again because i've been at the hospital so much um i end up buying things from marks and spencers on hospital grounds and they're expensive so i've put two of these one for me and one for easy i don't know which we'll have this one is chicken tomato and basil pasta and that's 99 pence reducing 365 which again i've not really paid that i managed to get a hummus it was only 45p so i don't know when we'll eat that but we've got to eat it in the next couple of days um it's a reduced fat hummus. This I tend to have for breakfast. Um, it was the best priced one I could find. It's not reduced. It would have been lovely if I could have found some reduced proper Greek yogurt. I only eat the proper stuff. Greek style yogurt is just horrible. It was £4.30, but it is a really big one kilogram tub. So that's not too bad at all. And I really like this, but it's always quite expensive. And again, not reduced. Gluten free buckwheat toasted muesli it's on offer at the moment in waitress I've, this is the second one i've bought while it's still been on offer i probably should have got another one actually and that was two pounds 80 so it's on offer it's not huge but it's really really nice have that mixed with my greek yogurt for breakfast i've got a sandwich for the freezer it's just a basic um ham sandwich again for the hospital that'll be useful 49p uh i don't know what that should have been what should that have been two pound 15 so it's, it's only a basic one and I got, I got these, they weren't reduced. got two lots of these. These are more expensive than, than Lidl or Aldi. I think these in Lidl or Aldi cost £2.65. Um, and these ones cost £3.25. And these are actually for Archie. So I chop these up really small with his kibble and then he'll eat them. But they are the higher welfare ones. Um, and then I got reduced... Evie asked me to get her some chicken breasts. I don't buy these very often because I think they're really expensive. But these were reduced from five pounds four twenty-five. And there's, quite, there's four quite big ones in there, so it's not too bad. Um, and then it's got a couple of some Greek feta, and that again wasn't reduced. And that was two pounds fifteen. It was just the essential. And then I got a couple of uh, lady things in there. So yeah, so that's what I got for my £40 from Waitrose. And this was dinner. One of these, my Waitrose reduced grapes. And some of my yoghurt. I do find that full fat stuff fills you up. I don't really get the um, half fat stuff. Or as I said before, I don't bother with the Greek style yoghurt. I don't like it at all. I've got some old gluten-free muesli. I don't have a lot of it, just a little bit to give it a bit of crunch. And then I've got these seeds, I'm using these up as well. Sunflower seeds, pumpkin seeds. And then I bought this from Lidl. It's a side vinegar with the mother. It's supposed to really help with, well, loads of health conditions, but specifically arthritis for me. So I mix a tablespoon of that 
in with a little bit of orange juice. So I'm going to have that as well. A cap full and a half. That's about right, I think. I haven't got any orange juice, I've just discovered. I have got apple and mango, which is a bit sweet for me, but it's not whatnot. So I'll have that. Right, breakfast. Heavens have opened, but at least the garden is getting a good watering. Next door, I've left all their cushions out. I should remember to cover ours up. I covered up my egg chair down there. Need to water the greenhouse though. Garden really needed it. So I'm finishing off in the bedroom because it's a bit brighter up here. It, the heavens have opened now and it's really, really raining, but we did need it. We'd, we were very, getting very dry. So just finishing off quickly before I pop back up to the hospital to see dad. Those were my Waitrose bargains. I know I probably still might have spent less if I'd gone to Aldi or Lidl, but you know, not everybody has the option of an Aldi and Lidl. I know in the comments people say that my nearest Lidl is 50 miles away or whatever, so you know, it's really not worth going then, is it? So you have to make the best of what you've got. And also I bought things that I wouldn't normally buy, like I wouldn't buy ready-made sandwiches and ready-made salads, but, and things like ready meals. But you know, at the moment, it's suiting what's happening in my life right now with dad being in hospital. So anyway, let me know in the comments if you think I got some good buys or whether you would have done things differently. And if you like this, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you know next time I publish a new video. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.